Hi friends, we are starting a face to face offline batch in Bangalore with SS Academy. That is for CA final financial reporting paper number one. I yeah, will be taking exactly two months from 1st November to 31st December. We will complete it. It is starting from 1st November 2022. Yes, and in Jayanagara branch of SS Academy, we have morning batch and evening batch will be at Seshadripuram SS Academy. Right. And if the student is missing because of any reasons, right, they are going to get a backup class. All right, we'll ensure that their things, I mean, they will study and complete. And from the face to face batch, you know the benefits out of it. We'll be completing the syllabus in time. You don't need to postpone and you don't need to compromise for your goals. See you in the class. Please share this information with your friends. That will help me and as well. Thank you. Yeah, hi friends, let us look at India's 102 that is share based payments quick revision class and these charts are available from our, I mean uh, from our book fast track uh, chart book on financial reporting which is available from my website and it is available in Amazon and etc. My website name is ravikanmiriala.com right. Let us look at uh, this India's 102. Yeah, in days 102, the name itself says share based payments. That means payments are based on the share prices of the entity. Here, the share based payment, share based payment definition is not given in one shot. They have given it in two different, I mean, uh, they have given like, uh, they have divided the word into two parts. One is share based payment, share based arrangement is one. Next is share based transaction is one. What is share based arrangement? Arrangement means obviously an agreement, agreement between two parties. One is the entity or the group entity or the shareholders of the group entity. And the other party could be either an employee other than employee he can be. Right. And for what here? What here means this employee or other than employee will be giving goods or services to other party. And for that purpose, this party is going to give correct now shares or share options or something is going to be given to the other party. Okay. Right. Next here, share based payment transaction. Yes, the transaction, what is the transaction here? The company or the company will be receiving the goods or services as I told you. Right now, as per the agreement, right? And they will settle it. And they will, at the same time, the entity will get an obligation to settle it. The obligation to settle it by the shares or share options. Correct now, where, I mean, wherever, where the goods or services are received by the other group entity. Yeah, sometimes what happens, yeah, holding company will be giving the shares not the company who is receiving the services. A subsidiary will be receiving the goods or services, but wherein the payment will be made by the holding company, right? Here, yeah, uh, this is normal, but you may be aware of it. Group, the word group, group includes the parent and its subsidiaries, that's all. But group does not include the associate and joint venture, which is important. Next, goods or services means it's not necessarily always inventory. It can be a PP, it can be intangible, it can be any other financial asset, it can be any item. It is not necessary only inventory. Just remember this point. Next, other definitions if you see. Yeah, one is equity settled share based payment. Next is cash settled share based payment. What is equity settled share based payment? Yeah, here again two things are there. One, the company may be receiving the goods or services and we will be issuing the shares or share options. Under that circumstance also, we will call it as equity settled share based payment. And the second situation is what? We are receiving the goods or services wherein we don't pay. We don't have an obligation to pay. Why you don't have an obligation? Because your holding company is going to settle it. Under that circumstance also, it is equity settled share based payment. Because you are receiving something goods or services where you don't have an obligation. When it is not obligation means it is obviously equity. Maybe equity is nothing but when not an obligation, not a liability, right? Cash settled share based payment. Cash settled share based payment means I will be receiving the goods and services wherein I have got an obligation to settle it. Okay, but I am going to pay cash. I am going to pay cash or any other assets. But how much amount of cash I should pay? How much amount of, I mean, whatever the other assets I have to pay, that will be based on the share prices. That's why it is obviously share based payment, right? Uh, so under share based payment what is the journal i mean what is the journal entry the initially will be recording employee benefit expense account debit to sbpr share based payment reserve 
unresting and at the time of exercising then SBPR account debit to equity share capital to security premium will record. With respect to cash settled share based payment, employee benefit expense account debit to liability, correct? That is a SBPL share based payment liability will create it. Once you make a cash or other assets, then SBPL account debit to cash or to any other asset, you will be recording it. Yeah, this entire standard is divided into four topics. This division is done by the standard itself. First one, equity settled SBP. Equity settled SBP, as you said, goods or services, if it is done by the, from the employee, means employee benefit expenditure, goods are received, okay, inventory account debit or PPE account debit to SBPR, I said. So, you will be recording the value at value which which date you will take it you will be taking the grant date rate grant date rate okay grant date means what grant date means it is an agreement between the company and the other party okay between the a company and other but that date rate what is there that will be fixed sir will you take the goods rate or will you take the the equity share rate first preference will be always to the fair market value of the goods or services only should be taken Second preference is when you cannot measure the goods or services value, then you are supposed to go with the correct now. Then you are supposed to go with the fair market value of the option, fair market value of the share you are supposed to take it. Right. And now here, with respect to employees, if it is employee, then you cannot measure the fair market value of their services correctly, reliably. That's why we will always go with the fair, I mean, uh, fair market value on the grant date fair market value of the share option we are going to pick it up okay right so that is that is the basic thing what is vesting vesting means becoming entitlement is called vesting vesting period means yeah the period in which we will be satisfying the conditions vesting conditions means yes there will be many conditions one is service condition next is performance condition within the performance condition market based performance condition non market market non market based performance conditions what is market related means it is including the share value of the company should go up something like that non market means that is the sales sales should be increased correct sales should be increased profit should be increased research and development should be successful maintenance and my cost should be reduced many other kinds of condition will be there service condition is very simple that you have to work with the company for right two three years four years something like that but performance conditions are always indirectly directly linked to service condition you have to achieve all these things when you are there with the entity only okay if it is vested immediately sir i mean you don't need to satisfy any conditions that means if it is an equity settled share based payment directly share based i mean employee benefit expense account debit to sbpr sbpr account debit to equity share capital we can record it but if you have got some some conditions to satisfy you have to you have to be you have to work with the company for 3 years 4 years something like that some conditions some period is mentioned then it has to be accrued over the period of vesting okay it should not be accrued in one shot right as we discussed like vesting condition non vesting service right now performance market related and etc right if performance condition is if performance condition is what non market related condition see if it is non market condition you have to estimate like in how many years it is possible if it is not mentioned correct and you can revise it based on you can revise what you can revise the period you can revise the period i am thinking that see i am thinking that it may be satisfied in 3 years maybe in the second year i may get to know no no 3 years may not possible 2 years i mean maybe 4 years are required you can estimate it yes and from there it will be prospective accounting will be taking place right and here listen whether it is in in case of equity settled sbp revision of the Division of the fair market value, fair market value of the share and option grant date that will never happen. If it is a modification, then we will be adding little more or deducting that we'll discuss little later after a few minutes. Right. Let's look at the non-market related condition. With respect to market related condition, vesting period once you fix now that will not, I mean vesting condition will never be changed. Or not vesting, the period will not be changed. Right. Suppose they have given uh, they have given three years right within three years only you are supposed to complete it right if they complete it early then you will, you will close it off suppose no sir i'm expecting that it will it will be happening in four years but let it happen in four years but charge will be happening only in three years we will be charging it off by three one by three two by three three by three we'll be charging it off okay right in case of market condition the fair market value on the grant date 
it includes already the risks and rewards related to the fair market value fluctuation already is included that's why you don't need to bother about any other thing just forget take the grant date market value and do proceed right in some some small concept called reload feature reload feature is not and i mean reload feature is something like yeah, you can uh, i mean uh, people can exercise their option today right today if you exercise it at say example at 110 rupees yeah tomorrow the value of the share may fall down and i may get i mean it may go up and i may get better price or something like that then the company is going to give you an option for what op what is this option you can exercise today okay this reload option na, it's like more reasonable with respect to cash settled share based payment the example today market value is equal to 100 if i exercise if i exercise today say i am going to get full 100 rupees money to me correct but if you suppose if i had waited for one more month the 100 rupees 100 rupees would have become 130 rupees sir correct yeah but you, <laughs> correct in, in urgency you already exercised it so you got 100 rupees your friend who has waited for one month correct now he got 130 rupees see that may go to 130 that may come down to 80 rupees both are possible right then the person who exercised at 100 rupees and he got 100 rupees of money na, he will be feeling bad that's the reason what the company says because today you can exercise it for 100 okay and we will say like i will give you a fresh it is like a fresh sbp i will give you now okay for the remaining period of exercising remaining period of exercising but 100 rupees you exercise in 100 rupees will be your offer price that means if it goes to 130 then you will be going to get another 30 rupees extra you are going to get it and one more time you can exercise i am giving you one more chance Right. In this regard also, you can refer our financial reporting made easy book or India's made easy book. You will get clear guidance on this. Okay. Next point. Modification. Let us look at the modification. Modification to what? Modification to the basic agreement. That is share based payment arrangement ka you are modifying. Modification. See, in case of modification, first thing you have to see, is it a favorable modification to the employee point of view? Okay. Is it a favorable or unfavorable to the employee? Okay. If it is unfavorable, no, it is generally theoretical experience, theoretical explanation, my dear. Unfavorable things, nobody will take it. Okay. Right. So, in case of unfavorable, most of the circumstance, what will happen? As if there is no such amendment or modification happened, you are supposed to account it. Assume that there is no such modification took place. If it is favorable to the employee, favorable means what kind of favorable? Reducing the exercise price, correct? Increasing the number of options or number of shares, right? Reduction of the wasting period or performance conditions, correct? Earlier I told you to achieve 500 crores of sales or profit. Now I am saying no 500 not required, achieve 400 only, still I will give you the options or shares, okay? It will be wasted, right? So what are you supposed to do? But remember overall, all the things are prospective accounting only. Yeah, how will the prospective accounting happen? What happens? Let's see item by item. Yeah, situation number one, right here exercise price value, fair value of the, I mean exercise price value is, is changing. Changing means if you decrease it, that is favorable to the employee. If you increase it, that is unfavorable to the employee. If it is unfavorable to the employee, I told you, na, consider it as if, I mean, such modification only did not take place that means as usual how long you are generally supposed to i mean i mean over three years means uh, three years you will be amortizing the old the same fair market value of the option and the grant date same number you take it and amortize it that's it if it is favorable to the employee what are you supposed to do you have to calculate incremental fair market value okay you have to calculate the incremental fair value what is incremental fair value sir yeah, the new, I mean, after reducing, what is the grant? I mean, the fair value of the option and the modification, new, new, new grant, okay, minus, minus the old terms, that old grant, the fair value as of today, nothing is related to the grant date rate, today, old terms, today rate, and new terms, today rate, right, that difference, what are you supposed to do, amortize it over prospectively, prospectively means over the remaining wasting period. So yeah, here some questions may what do they ask? They say, sir, this amendment happened on 30th September. Okay. So that means the what is the remaining period? Say example, one and a half year is there. Yeah, amendment happened on 30th September. From that date, 
for 18 months. One and a half year, 18 months you are supposed to amortize. Means in the current year, you will be doing 6 months. In the next financial year, you will be doing 12 months. There you just need to be a bit careful. Okay. If the amendment has happened after vesting, sir, it's already vested, sir. Then you charge it off. No, 100% will be hitting the p and immediately. Employee cost account debited to this. Okay. And the other one is what? Do, suppose if it is happening during the period, then obviously prospective accounting will be applicable here. Yeah. Let's see the second modification. That is increase or decrease in the number of shares or number of options. If it is sir unfavorable, unfavorable means was it is a decreasing. Decreasing means what are you supposed to do? We'll assume it. It is I mean that many number of suppose say I, I told you thousand shares I'll give you, but subsequently they said eight hundred shares only will give, which is theoretical, my dear. Practically you can't say such example. Very rare circumstance may may happen, but I have not experienced those things. Okay. So the 200 means 20% of the grant option is cancelled. That is what you have to take. But in case of cancelling, what is accounting? Just wait for two minutes. We will be explaining that after modification. Okay, sir. If it is favorable, sir. Favorable means what? 1000 shares I told you already. Now I am saying 1250 I will give you. That means 250 new shares I am going to give you. Correct. E 250 shares. Treat it as a separate grant. Correct. Now separate is BP. It is a separate is BP. From today onward, that SBP will be accounted. Old SBP will be accounted as usual. The old SBP, old, old fair market value on the grant date rate. The new SBP for 250 shares will be the new grant rate. I mean, the new rate of the option on the date of modification. That's all you are supposed to take. And modification of any other term. Any other term in the sense, reducing the period, reducing the performance condition, anything. Simple rule, as I already told you prospective accounting you remember depending upon the situation you will be doing it if it is unfavorable as usual as if there is no such modification took place okay yeah look at the next point cancellation or settlement of the settlement during the vesting period you are cancelling the uh, grant if you are cancelling the grant what will happen sir first and foremost thing recognize the remaining remaining expenditure immediately suppose three years is the vesting period Two years are completed, right? At the end of the second year only, they cancelled it, right? Second year charge also will come to second year. Third year charge also will come to second year. This point you remember. Next, if you are cancelling it, what will happen? Obviously, it will be disappointing to the employees or not. Yes, that's why what companies, most of the companies will do, they will pay a cash or they may give additional one more, one more grant. I am cancelling the old grant. I am, I am giving you the new grant. Could be possible. If you are giving the cash, if you are giving the cash means what? You are taking the, the right, that is equity share option, right? You are taking and you are paying the money to them. It should be treated as buyback. Okay. So, fair market value on the date of cancellation of the option, how much? Sir, 100 rupees. But how much my company paid? 120 rupees. So, 100 rupees will be treated as a buyback. Buyback in the sense what? You will be debiting the equity, equity account debit. Any reserve, SBB reserve also you can hit. SBP reserve account debit to cash. Okay, but not the P and L. Okay, SBP reserve account debit to cash. You should do it. And you pay 20 rupees extra. That will be charging to the P and L. Employee benefit expense account debit to cash. 20 rupees will be debiting to the employee benefit expense. P and L you are supposed to do it. Yeah, and next option, what I told, they are cancelling the world. They may be giving the new thing. Correct. Now, this it will be as usual, you will be accounting as a fresh grant. I mean, a fresh SBP. You will be accounting for. Yeah. See the remaining topic. I mean, you know, this SBP is a big one. Correct. Yes. You look at it in the part number two. And remember, our classes are starting from 1st November, my dear. Please share it with your friends. Let that be useful to us and your friends as well. Wish you all the very best for your exam.